Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plant Zoo. My name is Nissa and today I have a new mod to show you, which is the Tomistoma. <laughs> I think it's pronounced by Incognito and Leaf. Uh, as you know, I try not to research this video too much because then it would take me like a week to make them. Um, but I needed to see what this is. Um, again, it have... Yeah, I looked at the teeth, I looked at the mouth, I needed to look it up. So, it is in the f uh, family of the Gariel, but it have its own subfamily. And it is also known as the false gharial, therefore it's not a gharial, but can be confused with one. And that explains why I couldn't figure out what it was. But it has this quite unique, very red color compared to some of the others. I will say the picture I have here below is more red than some of the others that I saw. But since uh, they clearly chose to go with the redder version here in the game, I wanted this picture to compare it to. Um, again, lighter on the belly. However, not as light as some crocodilians have. These teeth that goes outside the mouth, both in the upward direction and downwards direction. And these darker markings, kind of like stripes, but not exactly. And then they have these rows of spikes on the back that gets further apart and more spiky on the tail. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything more to say out here. So let's take a look. Uh, I will just, before we go into Superia, go over here just to compare them. And I, ha I got them all. <laughs> got all the crocodilians. So I have the American alligator I'm gonna place here. Then we have the Tush. <sighs> Tumistoma. I'm gonna place down here. Then we have the Gariel. I'm gonna place next to it. Uh, and the saltwater crocodile that we're gonna put here in the right corner. Um, I will just mention that they are all male, therefore the gharial especially will be bigger than its female counterpart. But the... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, Tommy Stoma <laughs> um, doesn't have the same size difference than the gharial. It is pretty much the gharial that have these very small females and very big males. So its male part here is smaller than both the gharial saltwater crocodile and the alligator. The color is quite unique uh, and this very warm red color compared to the other. It doesn't exactly have the gharial shape out here. Looking for the top where the gharial's nose is wider than the bridge of the beak <laughs> where here it is the narrowest part uh, reminding most of a crocodile but much s more slender um, the spikes here on the tail is very unlike the alligator but much like the gharial and the saltwater crocodile and it's also have these spiky things on the back which reminds us the most about the alligator so it's kind of the best or the worst of all these other <laughs> crocodilians compare, uh, depending on what you want to see. Uh, we're gonna jump into Superia and after that I will show you the difference between the male, female and the baby. It is a vulnerable animal, meaning they are better placed as the, than the gharial, or their closest relative alive that is. Uh, 2,500 to 10,000 individuals in the wild. That's uh, quite unclear. Uh, they are from Asia, Peninsula, Malaysia, Borneo, 
uh, Sumatra and Java, which is uh, the islands down here, be be between most of Asia and uh, Australia, live in the aquatic and tropical biome, and one of them needs 210 square meters of land and the same of water. They don't need deep water, but if you want them to deep dive, you need to give them that. <laughs> um, live in places from 12 to 42 degrees Celsius. Again, be aware that if you are in a colder biome, give them a house, give them a warm place to be. You need a great to fence, 3.3 feet. That is exactly one meter. Um, either, no, only one male, one female, or one of each. Male and females are neutral. That must mean equal dominance. Why? Um, they are polyamorous, confident, and guess you not into the habitat. The males grow to 16 feet long and the females 10 feet long. So that's more than uh, half, half time longer than the female. Um... 10 feet, that's tr 3 meters, so 6 feet, that would be around 2, uh, sorry, 4.7 meters or something around there. Um, live for around 80 years and males weigh around 550 pounds, being 275 kilos uh, females 200 pounds being 100 kilos so females weigh the same as me roughly very roughly <laughs> uh reach sexual uh, uh, maturity at age 20 which isn't that weird when you uh, look at how old they get also compared to other crocodilians actually uh, can reproduce until they die and will give between one and four as offspring every second year and be pregnant for three months they should however be very difficult to get to reproduce in captivity don't have any, any interspecies enrichment i didn't count on that and for enrichment we have the prey center sack uh, both the two large balls both rubbing pads mud baths again with a lot of crocodilians that's a need uh, water jet both of them blood scent marker and that's it for food enrichment you have the blood uh, frozen blood pumpkin you have the restrained feeder underwater feeder a uh, fish feeder box a uh, block of frozen fish and the other underwater feeder um i'm just gonna look up here we already know that the male should be longer than the female uh However, I'm not sure about how much. And I'm actually gonna, the male is here. I'm gonna pull off two females uh, to look at them at the same time. And I didn't look for color moths, but I just got this um, within the tin I normally would get. So the base color is the ones here in the front. You can see the males are clearly different in color, no, sorry, in size, but still not the same difference as the gharial have. Um, like this is more fair for the female than the gharial, uh, mating wise. <laughs> um, again, lighter on the belly, but the spots they have on the base body, they also have on the belly side. Uh, very orange, uh, lighter color on the legs, and here in the red red uh, area between the light belly size and the really dark uh, back up here. Again, they have this kind of stripey feeling. Or uh, again, uh, I think on some bad graphic cards. This would look like the same color because it's not the biggest difference, but f I can see a different. Um, I will say though, they could have chosen as again, 
this is the most reddish one I found. So they could have go more uh, brown, more pale, more neutral in color. But they chose to go with these really, really dark colors, which is okay because it's what sells them apart. And again, um, I, I don't have issue with that, especially if you want them to pop compared to other crocodilians in your zoo. Uh, the females are pretty much the same, just smaller. This color morph, though, <laughs> are awful and wonderful at the same time because I really love it. Um, again doesn't look like anything I would find in the wild, which just would make it more amazing to actually see it alive. Um, I'm pretty sure they did this color morph because it exists, but it don't look like something that should exist. Uh, but I really like it. I also ex especially like the fact that you can clearly see they didn't make a line down the middle and mirror it. Even on the feet, the spots are different, which I really appreciate. Um, it does, however, I have mentioned this before, have this clean cut of color. I do like when it looks more worn. Again, this kind of sand, uh, sandpaper feeling of the color is wearing off. Uh, we know this with jeans, we know this with paint over time, especially if you have a place uh, on a wall where you keep touching the paint and it will wear down and get these uh, kind of uh, loose color over time, which a lot of crocodilian does. Uh, so I would appreciate that, but that's a personal choice that I like them to look older, especially because a lot of crocodilians get really old. I should have a baby in here somewhere. Uh, where are you? Yeah, it is. And it's the base color. Um. Oh. There. As you can see with all of the crocodilians, it is clearly smaller. It have these baby features which again if you don't know crocodilians it could look like a caiman or something else smaller uh, i'm pretty sure someone would confuse it with a lizard um, but especially when you see it next to the mama it gets easier to see that it is a uh, baby version of a crocodilians uh, it's quite cute though it seems like they partially not from the top. From the top, it clearly have its parents' nose, but from the side here, it have this buff up, uh, kind of a tiny bit like the Gabriel. Uh, here, the color is pretty much the same. I think it's a tiny bit lighter uh, than the adult, and for a lot of reptiles overall, either the babies are very pigmented and lose pigment. Uh, when they grow older or have uh, very less, uh, much less pigment than the adult and get more pigment with AIDS. That is the main difference you can see. They also are more, much more uh, less spiky, which makes sense because they come from an egg and you don't want to puncture the eggs accidentally. And the face have this more bunked up where the uh, face, again, they need to look up so uh, to see the world where the adults don't really need to look up the same way. So their faces are, or uh, heads are a continuation of the body instead of going upwards. Um, yeah. Um, going over here, I put some of them in the big basin. And not a lot of them are dying, but we have some. And I will say, though, with the red, right background, they will look amazing. Could you imagine this beautiful red color and all the green plants uh, 
in the background that would look amazing. You could also use the screens that I looked at a few weeks ago, I think. Um, but a simple green background, gray, cold, uh, cold toned gray or uh, bluish stones would also look amazing and contrast with this orangey reddish brown color. Uh, these are not the optimal if you really want them to pop. <laughs> Um, but yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And they move so beautiful in the water. Again, I'm not sure the mothers have anything to do with it. I just like to point it out. Um, and yeah, they also lie in a good uh, angle or a good level here. You can see they are clearly up. Crocodilians have these different levels, like this is clearly one that's up to get warm. You will also see crocodilians lie with only the nose holes over water. If it's a hot day, you don't want to be out there, so you submerge yourself and only breathing air up. Uh, so yeah, this works, but it could also be a little bit lower uh, without issues. So yeah. <laughs> We have someone on the move here. So uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today. As always, I hope you enjoyed it and you know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. Really hope to see you again. I'll in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.